You are still watching Ways. Now, International Rock Day is a day for celebrating this substance, which has been critical to the survival of mankind. Throughout history, rocks have been used since um, the Stone Age. Rock have been um, Im important for use as weapon and tools. Now, the metals and minerals that have been found in rocks are critical to human civilization. So, in case you did not know, you have to go and look for a rock. After you have washed it, give it a kiss and say thank you to that rock. <laughs> because a lot of things that we we we, we build on yeah. today, you know, is because there's an existence of something like this. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, say sometimes you don't value mm. what you have. Yeah. You know, so it's important that you just look for one rock. You can go to Lumo Rock, mm. go and kiss it, just say thank you for existing. Mm. You know, I mean. I don't think we see a lot of um, rocks here. The south, when, you, uh, when you go to the north, you will now yeah. understand, you know, ah, my God. Very, very, very critical to human civilization. So, thank you, rocks. Mm. That's, very, that's, the, that's very... I've never heard of that before. You know, that the line, it's critical to human civilization. That's very interesting. Mm. No, but it is every building, every there's yeah. nothing. You just never every, you know you don't know, click. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Now. You see, you see why I like yeah. Uh, I like what I'm doing now. Mm. We when we're in school, if I had the brain that I have now, <laughs> I'd be a billionaire. Mm. Because now you can connect what yeah. you learn to you know. So imagine if, living. Thank yeah. you. Imagine if teachers begin to teach mm. and connect the pieces. So you see yes, how yes, important. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. The child will never will not have failure anymore. Sure. Because now the child can relate to, oh, okay, I'm driving on the road because this exists. Yeah. You know? So imagine if we start to teach experiential teaching, mm. where the child now is now able to understand and say, okay, you know what, put the pieces together and say, okay, I see what my teacher was saying in class mm. and I can relate Later, it with, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the kind of learning that we should start having. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy I taught you something. Different. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are we starting with? Jennifer. Abio, let's start from there. We'll come back. Jennifer. I didn't say anything for him. All right, all right, all right. So, TikTok fast rising artist Muri Pounds was arrested by men of the NDLEA in the early hours of today due to his song lyrics Dance Like You Drink. In, smoke some weed and take some gas and then he was arrested because of that i don't have uh there's no much details right now i don't even know who miri pounds because so i'm not even on tiktok right to, i am on tiktok okay, i'm on tiktok but i'm not active, I'm not active right active, yeah. so i i hardly watch tiktok but i don't even watch but so funny, but, but, but honestly though TikTok influencers are a lot more powerful than Instagram influencers. Yeah, so I heard. Yeah. Like, it's really, really strong. So, I mean, um, it is important that we understand what we're doing. Mm. I like what TikTok has done in China. Do you understand? You can't just be, be TikToking any kind of content, right? They have um, really, really, uh, what's it called, um, censored their content. Yeah, okay. Right? So it's important, mm. right? Because you're fighting... A society yeah. where there's a high, um, what's it called, drug proliferation. What's the word? Proliferation. Huh, proliferation. Proliferation. That's the word. Yeah. That English is really, it's, it's real a tongue weird. twister for mm. me. <laughs> but there's a high level of drug penetration yeah. in our society. Mm. So imagine now somebody singing and almost like normalizing and making it okay mm -hmm. for you to take drugs to do things, right? Mm. You can't, it can, it can no longer be for entertainment or fun anymore. Yeah. Yeah. The government has to take it seriously and say, no. This is actually impacting negatively oh, yeah. On, yeah, the society, on the society. Yeah. So I, I would agree with them yeah. if they want to arrest such people. It's and a please, pandemic now. It's a it's huge a pandemic. Drug, uh, it's terrible. Very drug. huge pandemic. And the fact that you are so proud to talk about it, mm -hmm. right? Because I know um, before now, when artists were singing about um, things like this, yeah, they found a way to like code it. Yeah, yeah, it's when, it yeah they, they call it something else. It's when you're actually singing the lyrics and you put two and two together before you're able to figure out, oh, he was Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. science student, for, it, for the longest of time, we didn't know science yeah. student was, was about, like for yeah. normal people like me, because I think the people that... No. Where 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 mixing understood the lyrics. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> you and I did not know it. We yeah. did not know. But the people that 
the people that were drug people, <laughs> were they, they were mixing it. They said they understood what Olamide was saying because I didn't understand how you that song she's blew up. Kiss from a rose, um, mm. by Seal. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, I, I mean, it was last year or two years ago. I found out he was talking about cocaine. What? what? Oh, really? Let's carry on. You see, said this matter don't tea. And it has been, you know, the the different name. It has been given different names over time. Very, very. Su- it's a subliminal. Now, yeah. What's it called? Programming. And you see, subliminal programming are a lot more powerful mm. than when pre- somebody just comes outrightly and tells and you. Tells you. Yeah. Sure. you see those on the line, on the layer, on the layer. It goes straight into your subconscious. Even you. We wake up one morning. How, why did I become like this? Mm. Somebody already programmed you fifty yeah. years ago. You just did not know. <laughs> so you are just you are just beginning to exhibit it. So those ones are a lot stronger mm. than when somebody comes and tries to shove it. Like if you come with drug to me now, I would definitely resist it. Yeah. But there's a way, mm-hmm. there's a language that you will use like, to go and bypass all my barriers mm. and enter. So that's what music is. Yeah. Music is actually a very subliminal tool. So that's why it's very important that the lyrics and whatever it is that you're listening to, you have to censor it. Censor it. <laughs> ha. Mm-hmm. Angie. In other lights. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ring in other lights. <laughs> so the House of Reps have approved the request of President uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu for, for the amendment to the 2002 Appropriation Act to allow the federal government to take 500 billion for palliatives to Nigerians to <sighs> cushion the pains of uh, subsidy removal. The lawmaker approved the request during preliminary um, session today, uh, well, July 13th, yes. Um, they approved the sum of and ad- they approved an additional 319 billion to take care of other needs by the president, bringing the total to 819. At the moment, they approved 185.236 billion to the House of Works and Housing, uh, and the plan is to alleviate impact of severe flooding experienced in the country in different six po- uh, geopolitical zones. They approved 19 billion for a uh, ministry of agriculture for different a different reason. Um, an additional 35 billion was approved for the National Judicial Council and 10 billion for the FCT uh, administration for critical projects and 70 billion to the National Assembly to support working conditions of new members. And 19 billion for agriculture. Yeah. Interesting. Out of this list, um, you know, it's, I don't know, I, I, it is, is, is disheartening sometimes. I don't know how to react when I hear news like this. You know, one minute we say there's no money in the country. Mm. We're trying to manage resources. And then the next minute they bring out something like this in the news. It's, I don't know how to react sometimes when I see these things. Because I'm like, in other countries, when there's a problem like this, the the appointed representatives of the various agencies and institutions take up you know humanitarian i'm choosing my words carefully they take up humanitarian you know measures to show the people that do you know what we are here to serve you and we're here for you Mm. yeah so they come up with ideas like someone will say do you know what this month i'm not collecting my salary rather than collect my salary use that money to Maybe they focus it on somewhere else or they ask the government to, you know, use it for other, you know, um, pressing matters. It's only in Nigeria that I see, no, because I don't live anywhere else. It's in Nigeria that one minute they're shouting there's no money. We're trying to save money for you people. And the next minute you are telling me that you are approving such billions that don't even get to the masses at the end of the day. So this idea of palliatives. Hmm. I don't know who came up with this idea. My I, question, uh, first of all, the selection criteria, how did you determine that you're going to give 12 million households? How did you... From how did you, you arrive at... You what what metrics? What me, exactly. What, what metrics, metrics should you use to measure? To measure. Quality? Because as I did like this, so... I mean... If it is that Borough of Statistics yeah, has to be involved. Yeah. How do you know? What are the last names of all these people? Exactly. It's not even Where that. Jennifer and uh, Abidjola and uh, Angie. As I did like this, 
It's, if I see somebody they give me eight thousand naira every month, I will collect it. I mean, do you understand? Because what are the what are the parameters for some of these um, what's it called? Some of these um, 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 projects. What are the parameters? I would expect that a government that is thinking of truly liberating the people, you will think about creating opportunities for them to earn money mm -hmm. and make money. What Why all these handouts every single time? Because all of these handouts, it is short-lived. It is not sustainable. Yeah. Do you understand? You have to give people a way to catch the fish themselves. Stop handing fish to people. Oh, all so the so time we see this thing happen. And we know that this 8,000 naira. Let me tell you what we eventually, even if it, if, if it, if, if, oh, if it finally gets to who these people they want to give. Maybe at the end of the night, I won't fight. Because before you go... Yeah. That's all that change. Somebody wants somebody. Somebody will take. Somebody will yeah. take. Somebody will take. You yeah. know how these things work, right? So, what is your criteria? Why are we coming back to issues of palliative? Is it for a government that could not share noodles and and pasta? Now you want to now share money? Is it like I don't understand how these things work? Like sometimes I just keep wondering in my head how there are people that have great initiatives to open soup kitchens or something. If you are putting that, you say, okay, you know what? Mm -hmm. These are the things you want to probably put across the country. I and can do it for free. Exactly. Yes, uh, that one, I, it can resonate with me. The but you, the handing people. over people money. I don't understand. To do create right, opportunities. Exactly. Create jobs. There are so many things that we can do today that will earn us money. Right? Why don't you make that happen first? Jola, please, your story. Sorry for raising your mood. No, no, <laughs> no. It's just, it's, it's no, it's quite, it's quite unfortunate actually. that this is where we are. And then 70 billion. Oh my goodness. 70 billion. The Lord be with us. Okay. So, <laughs> it's the fact that you could think this one is actually going to get to the It won't, nah. That's the annoying. That's, what that's what you are quiet at. You're just looking at us. I'm just because, vibrating for nothing. Because, because when, when, I, when, I saw, when I saw the news, I was already upset. I just... <laughs> I did, I did a long his <laughs> because obviously who do you think you're fooling mm. right because if i think about what happened during covid and what you're doing now yeah. hmm. really? nothing no okay hollywood set for first shutdown strike since 1960. Mm. so um that's 63 years ago yeah hallelujah so um you know there's been an ongoing um strike with um the script writers you know that's been going on for about 11 weeks um but this one is the screen actors guild um which represents about 160,000 performers including a-list stars said negoti negotiations um late wednesday has ended without a deal on their demand and whatever but um okay on their demands over dwindling pay and the threat posed by artificial intelligence hmm. mm -hmm. so oh, 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 oh. so um in some ways i honestly yes you know i i know that on one of our episodes we had talked about yeah the merits and you know the demerits of yeah. course with technology there is a lot of advancement but there's also the drawbacks and all that and um when you think of um if this is how you end your daily living and then something comes to threaten that, I mean, it's, it's just, um, it's, it's um, expected, you know, that there will be agitation and all that. So um, it's interesting for me because I'm trying to understand what AI will come and do. I mean, is, is the AI going to be the one acting, you know, I, I, I don't know. Well, but you'd be surprised. Uh, yeah. There's nothing that can happen. I don't, just before you came, my son, who was, you think? The things we were talking about AI, yeah, it was it, it's no. They said AI yeah, have you can have a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I said okay, no problem. Yeah. We have my I've spec. Seen, I've seen some. Now we give you love, no cheating. Oh, no, but that's the thing. The mm -hmm. person who someone actually tried it, mm -hmm. and the person who tried it said okay that the AI was void of the right emotions. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's not just see. It's one thing to be intellectual yeah is one thing to have the right say all the right, the right yeah. you know, when, when you google certain things you see mm -hmm. it's good to have that information mm. but how to layer the information, information. becomes the problem true, and true. you if you're not human mm. it's hard for you to you can have that human, like, a human no matter emotions. how many wires they true. put into you no true. matter how many things they try mm. a clone will be a clone mm. The human will always mm. 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 well until we lose all it's that. all right it's all right <laughs> <laughs> 
Hollywood, I'm with you. Mm-hmm. And Luther continue. <laughs> The movies I expected. Uh, uh, no, wait, I want to ask Hollywood. No, be then they act movie of AI. Now they, they, they don't they won't bring a girl. You people would make them to see the light. They have seen the light now. You are now, you are now <laughs> remote. But I think it's, it, it, so it's only fair, it's only yeah. natural yeah. that, you know. And again, this is not even to Hollywood. Why did I, I mean, in my bucket list, acting was part of it. Oh, my, I tested it once. I said never. Mm. The only thing that is still on my bucket list that I really want to do, because that was what I really used to do when I was younger, mm. stage play. Oh. So if I see a very good stage play and they are willing to take a risk on me, I know I'll give it my all. I'll do a stage play. But that acting, mm-mm, because again, most of all of these things are like, and you know, all these total hidden kind of mm-hmm. negotiations. Maybe your role has a specific amount. But they would, so there's a lot of, yeah. there's a lot of magumago that happens mm-hmm. with um, payment of um especially in all this kind of production so it happens right mm-hmm. it, and it's everywhere i'm just so shocked that uh hollywood but it's true even in hollywood i remember one uh, um, one actor i think it was scarlett johansson mm. she had issues with um, black widow or something yeah, yeah. Okay. i remember that time when they were yeah. having yeah. issues with her contract yeah. so yeah. it's been there so yeah. maybe now that they are probably going as on strike collectively it's mm. possible that you know they will get to resolve, resolve before yeah, then it's like yeah. pockets of actors mm. fighting and the blacklist yeah. 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 and all of yeah. that so yeah. maybe yeah. maybe yeah. maybe maybe yeah. Yeah. All right, my story is quite interesting. I just thought to, to share it. That uh, our daddy, our thread daddy, is practicing his skills. And he wants to. He's practicing his skills that he wants to. He wants to. He wants to. Are they serious? I don't know. I don't need to so. be practicing this. I don't things. know. Hey, my media <laughs> cannot load. I wanted to get serious, the story. Are they serious? I just think they're both comedians, right? Yeah, they're, and they're I just, think it's just the um, rich men who yeah. like to draw attention to, the yeah. to themselves, yeah. right? Yeah. So Facebook founder it. Zuckerberg has been photographed training with uh, New Zealand Nigerian. They don't say New Zealand Nigerian. Uh, mixed uh, martial arts um, star Israel Adesanya. In preparation for his uh, proposed cage fight with Elon Musk, as Elon cage Musk, fight. Elon Musk, go Elon Musk an African guy, after after both tech billionaires called each other out, Mark Zuckerberg, whose uh, firm owns Facebook and Instagram, recently released, of course, you all know, um, the social networking app called Thread right. to complete. I mean, so to, sorry to compete with Elon Musk um, Twitter. So, however, while some viewed the challenge for uh, an MMA fight as playful banter between the influential figures. The anticipation surrounding this unlikely showdown <laughs> continues to grow with both of them pictured training with MMA fighters. <laughs> Sharing the photos uh, from uh, via his Instagram page on Twitter. Uh, that's um, today. Adesanya said, we both have South Africans to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I say less, do more. In Apple hashtag thread, hashtag uh, stitch, stitch him up or be stitch, stitch, stitch up or something like that. It says, uh, I, Adesanya, referring to Zuckerberg tech competitor Elon Musk, an undefeated middle bell fighter, um, Dricos du Plessis, whom he will um, most likely fight next week. So both of them have contenders. Yeah. Uh, Adesanya is going to contend with South African. You know, more, I mean, Zuckerberg is also <laughs> so they have to mm-hmm. practice together as sparring partners. But hey, but this is actually fun for who me. Is Elon Musk but guess what? With? If this fight truly happens, you know the billion, the billions of mm-hmm. dollars that they will rake in if people you, subscribe. It's going yes. to. Be, it's, going going to it's, it's going to be live. Somebody yeah. will cash out. Hey, yeah. how do we so cash out in this kind of thing? Is there a betting? Of course, there's a bet now. Definitely. I've never, I've never done anything on bet in my life. Maybe I will bet this time around. We can do t-shirts. <laughs> right, I show me. So, we we so threading. We put thread here. We put. We put it. Let's wait our show. I'm coming for you tomorrow. I'm going to trade back. No, but on a serious note, when I saw that, I thought I thought this was really beautiful to watch because it was a, a good comic relief for me. Yeah. And you know what really struck me again was the fact that this was a Nigerian. Mm. At this time, he's a Nigerian, mm. right? He had to go to another country, of course, like mm. every other Nigerian story that has really exploded in their careers, right? So, I mean, we have opportunities here. So, I just plead with our government, right? 
outside of all of this drama that we talk about, <laughs> it's so funny, <laughs> right? Outside of all this drama that we talk about, right? We really have great talents in Nigeria and it cuts across all fields. Sure. So let's pay attention to what we have and just, you know what, give them an enabling environment and they will thrive. Yeah. All right, on that note, let's discuss infrastructure. Stay yeah. with us. We'll be right back.